And I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm looking outside bang. Did you say the same thing? Yeah, I said the same thing. I, I had the what the hell look. <laughs> I did too, and I'm like, yo, I'm like, that look like my bike outside. But then I'm like, nah, that ain't mine. I got the black one. Oh, you we, got the <laughs> yeah, man, we got, we got G. Keith and Jeremiah in the studio. Jared Payton Show also combined with my man, J.R. Bang Morning Show. Yep. What's going on, fellas? You guys good? Thank you. Yeah, man, I'm all good, bro. I actually just, I just landed in Chicago, man. So I was actually at the OVO Fest last night in Toronto. So you just catch me. I had to get my phone fixed. I had to get my international. Really? So, so I just had to uh, get back right. What do you think about Toronto? I spent actually a year playing with the uh, the Toronto Argonauts, so I got a chance to be able to be in Toronto. It's a lot. It's, it's live as hell. Yeah, man. Well, it was the Carabana this weekend, so it's my first time out there. Oh. We shot the video for my mom yesterday with me, um, two Chinese big men and drumming. So that's really why I was out there. Okay. Actually, yeah. actually, one of the songs, one of my favorite songs, on my iPhone right now. I'm just oh. just saying. <laughs> Chief, what's going on, man? Big for you right now, man. Yeah. Things are just popping. Yeah. When you talk about just just success in the moment yeah. when things just happen, I know everybody ta talks about things just happen for a reason and how things, and, but see, people don't see the process leading up to the things that are blowing up. Talk about just the process of where you are right now in your career. Um, you know, I got a, I, I probably have these headphones coming out. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Dre, you know, Beats. Yeah. I got a uh, movie. I got, I got an album coming out like Christmas, you know. Okay. How was Lollapalooza though, Jax? Oh, Lollapalooza was live down there. You know, you know, I did that Saturday. It was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Was crazy. Like getting up on that stage, man, seeing all of those people out there, how did it feel? Did it, did it? It turned me up. I mean, I like big crowds. You know, okay. Like 5, how, how many thousands of people it is? I like that, you know what I mean? I like driving right. with people. I like something. Right, you say the album come out around Christmas? Yeah, Christmas time. Started working on it? What you got working on it with you so far? Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fitty. Okay. Got, you know, walk, you know, boots, you know. Uh, I'm trying to get a stale, I'm trying to get a stale, a yes. uh, You know, I'm a lot of people. Okay, and Jeremiah, you got you got a little joint tonight, man. Yeah. I heard. No, it's a little, it's a little uh, private listening session for my new tape. It dropped tomorrow. It's called Late Nights. Um, I just released a joint today, one of the latest one with me, um, Two Chains and Gucci on. It's called Out of Control. Make sure y'all check that out. I just dropped it today, but you know it drops officially tomorrow, 2 p.m. You know, a late night, yet another late night, man. I'm just looking forward to putting out another body of work. All my fans out there, all the ladies out there, that's been waiting, you know, for something to get to dance to. I mean, you know, just having a little fun with having late nights. Jared, you seen the Go to the Mo video? Yes. Yes. I'm I thank you. Thanks. Oh, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> that video, that video was off the chain. Okay, so that's gonna be tonight. I got the text, so I know I'm definitely gonna be there. I'm gonna see if Beyonce yeah. wanna come, man. When do you got? When your next project coming out? That time, you know, they they been waiting on me. I just, you know, I didn't want to put out no album without without being, you know, being how I need to be. And so I want to put out this tape just to just to let people remember, you know, at least while I'm here. And um, my 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 third album, the Big Three Dub Jam, I probably release it at the top of the year. Okay, okay. They make me want to drop my right. album. <laughs> they make me want to drop my album. Nah, you know what though? It's like it's a process, and like right now I'm going through a life process, so I'm actually in the process of writing at the moment. So, but I think I mean that's the best thing when you talk about sports and music. They go hand in hand. Every football player, every basketball player wants to be a rapper, man. They always talk about it. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been in so many different locker rooms. People throw on an instrumental. Everybody wants to rap. Oh. You know what I mean? We had Shannon Brown in here the other day, man. The instrumental came on. The next thing you know, he's like, man, we about to do this? I'm like, yeah, we can do this if you want to, man. <laughs> yeah. We'll drop a 16 for you. Um, but the creative process for an album, talk about that. Just leading up to it. People just think that, you know, you make songs, but it's, it's a little bit more deeper than that. I mean, I just go in now. I used to, you know, waste a lot of time writing, you know what I'm saying? But now I just kind of go in. I think I worked a lot in Atlanta with, with you know, Gucci, and I saw how they kind of went in. But it changed the way I recorded, honestly. A lot of records y'all might hear me on right now was just, just on some free, on, on some freestyle, you know, right. whether it, it was the Travis Sport a new joint to um, ride like that, or even in my moment, all that was just what came first, and so that's how I've been kind of going in now. So my whole approach to making music is just completely 
just on a, to me on another, on another type of level than me. How about you, Keith? Because I know it's... As an older cat, you know what I'm saying, it's something that I read up on you, you were saying one of your earlier influences was Benny Siegel. Yeah. And anybody that knows me though, that's my man. That's that's my dude. So when it comes to you and your music, man, especially the album that's coming out at Christmas, um, what do people what do you want people to hear when they hear this Chief Keep album coming up? I might not do that for the punchline, you know, but that ain't that me. I used to do that though. Right. Back yeah. in like 08, 09, when right. I first started rapping. Cause that's what, I mean, when we first started rapping, that's what you do when you do all that. But, right. I mean, I slowed down on um, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I just started talking about what's real and what's going on right now, you think? Right. I mean, that's what I started doing. You know, I still write though. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, <laughs> no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying I don't, you know, put on time. But oh, just right. like, cheap all right. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The game, I feel like the, the game needed needed the refreshment of a flow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was just, I, I personally got tired of everybody sounding like, you know, even though I'm I'm, I'm cool with all those people that are sounding like yeah. each other. But I just felt like what he brought, what he what he brought to the game now is just is, is what we all love, it's something new, and it's and it's hometown love. People recognize, I feel like real, and that's what that's my man's right here brought. And I, I you know, I, I already know what's gonna happen. You know, not that it ain't already happened. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen. Yeah. When we expecting them headphones, Jack? I need them. Around the same time I'm out. Of the so it's gonna be like a prize pack where you yeah, get to see that's, you that's get what the, saying, yeah. That's what's up. I, that's, I definitely need that. We need that. to do a uh, package with my beer, with the headphones, and the CD. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, you gonna package for me? I can't. You gotta get something, man. Come <laughs> on with some cigarettes or something, man. Okay, I got some squares. Check out bag squares. Yeah. Well, man, I'm yeah. telling you right now, man, whatever, I love the fact that it's hometown and everybody's helping out. You don't see that in the, and this is different in different cities, man. And one thing that I always talk about here is that we all have love for each other and helping each other out. So I'm always down for that. I'm excited to see both you guys and, and your journeys and where you're going in life. And listen, I'm here. Anytime you need me, holler at your boy, man. You want to promote something, <laughs> man, we get it out there. And I know I can get it out there, especially right. with... You know the circle that we have here, but we're all about hometown, so that's what's up. Hey, and we yeah. and we play we play both of y'all tracks on WindyCityUnderground.com always. So if y'all ever get a tweet in the morning like, "Who the hell is Jr. Bang?" That's that's <laughs> that's me. I tweet I mean, everybody's shit. For sure, I appreciate all that, man. Make sure y'all get that new late nights. I was from singing stores online tomorrow. On that pip.com, make sure y'all get y'all got Oh, that's my A. Yeah, yeah my boy KP. Coming soon. Yep. Finally, Rich, the Rich Taylor coming soon. Make sure y'all copy the headphones. You got Keith. Make sure y'all copy the movie. <laughs> That's what's up, man. It is what it is. Hey, yeah. man, we appreciate both you guys for coming in, man. Chief yeah, Keith, Jeremiah, stay on top, man. We're gonna Bye put you. out. A, we're gonna take a picture. I'm gonna tweet it out, man. We're gonna get Bye. it out there, man. Keep it locked here, Jared Payne Show and the Jared Bain Morning Show here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com and WindyCityUnderground.com. My bad. Your music, your station.